What's up guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're on a game that I've been waiting so long for, Anime Champion Simulator. And in case for some reason you have absolutely zero clue what this game is, pretty much Direb, the dev of this game, who previously was the dev of Anime Fighters, pretty much created this game. And yeah, well, you saw how popular Anime Fighters got, so obviously there was a ton of hype behind this game. And yeah, as of yesterday, they just released it, so let's quickly jump right into it and find out if it's up to the standards that we all believed it was going to be. Because if it lives up to that hype, well, this is going to be a really fun game. But anyways, quickly, before I jump into this video, I just want to say quickly, if you do end up enjoying these videos and want to see more, whether it's on this game or the many other games that I play, then feel free to drop a like and sub, it's completely free to do and you can always change your mind later. And obviously, I'd really appreciate it because it boosts the channel the videos pretty much everything and overall it just shows your support but anyways enough of all that let's jump right into this so starting off it seems like i'm currently in the tutorial so there's the helper bot down here welcome to anime champion simulator i'd love to talk but we're under attack take out three yellow force before it's too late okay let's quickly accept this and i guess these yellow force are going to be these enemies right over here now pretty much how this game works you just click the enemy and then your hero for example i got this yancho for free right over here will end up attacking this yellow force and then once you defeat him he will be dropping a bunch of coins which you could use for opening eggs unlocking new worlds and as well sometimes you will see a little bar right over here pretty much what that means is for example i think if you click this button he will do some kind of special attack yes and yeah obviously he'll end up doing a ton of damage now it seems like we've completed the quest so let's just quickly compress complete right over here great job i just gave you another champion to take on their leader can you defeat blue force with your new team sure and okay, these blue force are going to be having 1.5k HP compared to the 120 HP that the yellow force previously had. So yeah, let's just quickly send out... Wait, hold on, I just got a new hero, the Tenzuki. Whilst I'm taking out this blue force, let's actually quickly have a look at their stats. So over here, we can find Tenzuki, which is a B hero. Not exactly sure what that means just yet, but he does 6 damage and he is level 1. Apart from that, I also have a Yancho, which is also a B hero, and he does 6 damage and is also level 1. Pretty good. Now at the moment, I'm not seeing any other eggs in this world, so it does make me believe that for now, this whole world's purpose is just the tutorial so let's quickly defeat this blue force and get this over and done with so now he wants me to talk to helper bot right over here and da, 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 da. okay it seems like he wants us to repair the portal which is right over here for 500 coins so let's just quickly repair that thank you and ooh, okay this seems like where you can pick the worlds that you can travel to wow this is really cool so if i click the green planet yes i'm going to zoom in and there's a teleport button right over here so let's just quickly teleport and if i'm not mistaken this is the same world as the countdown server yes it is and it seems like that there are a ton of heroes and enemies that i can get and fight and it seems like i completed the tutorial right over here so let's just quickly complete the quest West and great job reaching the world but it's no time to slack off you can get stronger by opening new champions open the dragon orb until you have five champions sure i mean not complaining about more heroes okay so it seems like over here is the dragon orb which is going to be the egg and it's going to be costing a hundred coins each and the heroes that we can get for example we already got these two over here the most commons for free but then there's also the rare the mythical the legendary and i think this is the epic and yeah well i have 1.1k coins which obviously means i have enough to open a few of the eggs so let's quickly put on auto for a little bit and ooh, okay that's some clean egg animation and we're getting some yanchos uh, we got i think we got two yanchos we got another tenzuki and that's pretty much the quest done but can we get something better than the common come on last spin please be something better and we got another common unfortunate but that's fine since we got a bunch of these extra comments pretty much what we can do is there is a fuse system in this game for example if i want to fuse this yancho i pretty much just press fuse and then i can select and if i select enough as you can see i can upgrade his level just like that i selected all of them and if i press fuse pretty much he's going to end up doing extra damage every time i level him up now obviously once i get the better heroes you know the legendaries the mythicals and whatnot i'll eventually just start pushing all of my extra comments and whatnot into fusing them 
them and then hopefully by the end of this video we'll be able to make a really broken team now let's quickly pause with all the quests and tutorials and whatnot i want to have a look and see what these buttons over here do so starting off over here is going to be the shop and it seems like from what i was told a lot of these passes can actually be gotten for free as you don't necessarily have to buy them with robux you can also buy them with gems and if i'm not mistaken it is actually really easy to get gems in this game but i think that's something like really late game however if we do scroll down all the way to the bottom of the shop you will see that there is a code button right over here and yeah well the devs pretty much released a code it's actually called release as well and once i redeem this code i should be getting a bunch of gems yes 5k gems which obviously means that i should be able to buy a pass now it really depends which uh actually hold on wait i think i can legit only get this auto clicker game pass because none of them are like 5k or under yeah having a quick look around there's none for 5k so i think i'm gonna spend these 5k gems on this auto clicker that way obviously i'll end up doing the maximum amount of damage at all times so it's not really a waste so yeah, let's just quickly get it. 3,499 gems. That will leave us with around 1.5k, I think. It's fine. I wasn't really ever good at math. So let's just quickly confirm this. And now we have the auto clicker game pass. Now, I believe if I just, for example, click this blue force, I think it's one of these buttons. Yes, auto click. And yeah, it seems like I'm clicking three damage really fast. And yeah, as you can see, this blue force's health is just getting deleted. Wow. And he dropped another 852 coins so I can open a bunch more orbs. Nice. But anyways, having a look at the rest of the buttons, we already saw that. That was the heroes. There's also talent tokens that we got, I think from the code, actually. Uh, you can use these tokens to re-roll your champion's talents. I don't think I've unlocked that yet, so I can't use it for now, so I'll have a look at it later. Now, this button over here is going to be the teleporter. Pretty nice. This button over here seems to unlock a whole quest page, which I assume is going to be for when I have multiple quests at the same time. And then the final button, which I think is going to be anything important, because I'm pretty sure this is just a settings button, yeah, is going to be the upgrades. Now, it seems like I can unlock these with wasn't these the talent tokens which i just got uh no what this is like cyan and that one's like dark blue yeah but anyways with these upgrades i can unlock more speed a dash unlock dashing with again more of these blue tokens which i don't have yet radius which is going to be costing gems okay and this one will increase my auto attack size plus 15 and pick up radius plus 15 huh i hope that this wasn't anything important because you know did i waste my gems on the auto clicker was the subject i should have gotten first i mean plus 15 sounds really broken so i don't know but anyways apart from that we also have multi open which once i unlock 100 orbs i'll be able to get plus one open pretty good there's also double jumping for more of these blue tokens luck for staying in the game for 30 minutes which i'm already halfway through so shouldn't be too long before i unlock that and as well damage one plus 25 percent damage for defeating 1k enemies and equip one which will be unlocked by beating floor 50 uh is that some kind of raid system boss thing i'm not exactly sure i think i'm getting ahead of myself like i'm still on what's this i guess the first world after the tutorial world maybe this is a hint that i need to get back on track to the main quest line so let's just quickly complete this quest and helper bot is going to be telling me to uh, i've gotten stronger defeat enemies until you have enough coins to unlock the next world all right let's just quickly claim that and collect uh, apparently i got already 853 coins oh wait i think the next port is going to be costing 10k that's why it's already you know progressed well anyways let's quickly run around this map quickly and see where this portal is going to be i think it's there yeah pirate town 10k coins there's also an egg over here which i guess is really good because obviously if i'm all the way over here i don't feel like running all the way back there just to open a few eggs but ignoring all of this it seems like the boss of this world is going to be frieza or should i say blizzion and yeah well he has 15k hp which obviously isn't anything little so you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna sit here for a little bit let me just quickly defeat this blizzion and then i'll cut back and show you guys what rewards he's going to drop and there we go he just has a little over 100 hp left and he is defeated i do okay it seems like he dropped a bit more than just 
coins? What exactly did he drop? I think it's over here in the items bag. The dragon medals. You got these medals from the green planet raid? Uh, I, is this a raid? I didn't know I was already doing raids. Uh, you can use them to reroll quirks on your champions from green planet. I have absolutely zero clue what that means, but it sounds really good, so I'll take it. Now, unfortunately, it does seem like I didn't get enough coins in order to unlock the next world just yet. But actually, there is a quick solution for this. As you can see, just quickly have a look at my money. Obviously, it says 7.9k. But there is actually a special trick in order to kind of, you know, get quickly 2 more k. And it pretty much just involves counting down from 3. So let me just start the countdown quickly. 3, 2, 1. And boom, with the power of magic, I now have, you know, 11.6k coins. A full team of these Echolos. Yay. But anyways, jokes aside, I'm sure you can guess what I did. I just fought Blizzion again. I hatched a little bit. And surprisingly, I was able to get three of these epics. And I mean, they ain't bad at all. For example, I have two of them which do 20 damage each. One of them's B tier, C tier, and the other one's D tier at 15 damage, which is going to be my lowest. But I mean, it's still a huge upgrade from my previous team. So I mean, I'll take it. But probably they're going to be getting replaced any second now since I can pretty much repair this portal and travel to the pirate town. So let's just quickly do that and teleport through. And boom, we're now in the pirate town and it even gave us a badge to reward us. Thank you, game. Now, what exactly is different over here? For example, there is an orb for 500 coins each, which obviously is quite more expensive than the previous one. But let's quickly open one. Maybe I get the legendary on my first try. No, we got Marini, level 10. And how good is she going to be? Okay she's immediately on my team 29 damage yeah well i was completely correct about these piccolos getting replaced really really quickly now right near this orb there is a scientist simon over here are you with helper bot they said you could help us out our scanners indicate that some of the champion city was blasted here after the attack can you find and repair the magical tree um sure i guess i'll do that where's the magical oh okay there's the magical tree 10k coins yeah okay it seems like i'm going to be stuck on this world for quite a while but we also have adventurer gomo over here hey you can you help me find the magical spirit that hides around each planet i'll give you some move tokens to make it easier and I just claimed it and it gave me two of those... Oh yeah, these are the dark blue tokens that I was talking about before. So that technically should mean I can upgrade some stuff here. Dash and speed. Okay, so now it seems like I can move slightly faster. There's also mount speed, which means that there are mounts in the game. But I guess what's most important is going to be this dash. And oh yeah, it seems like I also unlocked the first luck one. Let me just quickly claim that. Now if I'm not mistaken, dash is F. R, Q, okay, it's Q. And, uh, I mean, it's not good right now, but obviously, as I upgrade it even more, obviously, it'll get much better. But anyways, back onto the quest. It seems like this is the spirit that it was talking about. It's like some kind of Pokemon. I'm sorry if this is some, like, well-known anime character, but I'm just not recognizing it. And, oh, oh, whoa, just dropped a bunch of tokens. Oh, okay, it's these talent tokens. I already have 50 of them, so they're not really that special at the moment. But we've completed the quest, so let's just quickly complete it. Uh, wow they drop talent tokens yes i just found that out i wonder what they do can you catch three more so we can investigate uh sure why not so let's just quickly accept that and uh it doesn't seem like there are any arrows to point me to where i have to go um okay this is going probably some side quest that i'll make a separate video on because this these spirit ones i think they said that they can be in any world and yeah, well, if we have a look at the teleporter once again, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the seven worlds. Well, at least seven, including this champion city, which is the tutorial world, I think. But yeah, you get the point. There's many worlds to check out, so I'll just have a look at that later. Now, I think in order to end off this video, I am going to be trying to complete this world quickly. So let's quickly get back onto the main quest line so we can do that. So great job so far. Talk to uh, these guys. All right, I already did that. And okay there's no quest 
But I think the main quest that the game wants me to continue on is going to be this magical tree one. So collect 10k coins and repair the magical tree. Alright, let's just quickly get onto that. So I guess I'm going to start fighting these harbor master. Harbor master. I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce that, but I'm sure you get the gist of what his name is. And well, he has 50k HP, which is, you know, quite an increase from the previous world's boss. But anyways, as I was saying, I am going to try quickly getting these 10k coins and then I guess heading over to the magical tree to repair it. So yeah, give me like maybe 10 minutes, 5 minutes. It really depends how long it takes to defeat this harbor master maester master whatever you call it and yeah well once that's done i'll cut back and then we'll repair the magical tree and see what it does and there we go we now have well over 10k coins in order to unlock or i guess repair this magical tree now is this going to take me to the next world i have absolutely zero clue but let's find out so it seems like i created some kind of portal and i'm back oh it seems like repairing the magical tree takes you back to the tutorial area i guess huh interesting i'm not exactly sure what that's supposed to mean but there is an arrow over here which is pointing to oh wait is this where you get the quirks hold on talent over here costing 10k no to repair it costs 10k and actually i have enough for that so let's just quickly do that and see what exactly this is talent machine uh let's say i pick this marini so select and oh okay so this is where i can reroll in order to change my hero's status tier thing talent i guess you call this so let's say i get a hero that is uh d tier and i want it to be a tier so i guess i'll use some of these tokens i'll reroll it and then if i'm lucky enough i'll get a tier cool cool definitely will be you know coming back to this in a future video now there's also quirks over here which if i select i guess again marini i will be able to unlock it using these pirate medals yeah pirate medals i think i got these from defeating that harbor you know the weird maester master boss that we saw not too long ago so i guess let's quickly do one so clicking this does nothing uh reroll maybe yeah okay it was reroll and can we get something really good rich one what exactly does that do let's see if i can have a look over here so if i select it this champion increases your coin jobs by five yeah that's not good at all let's not settle for that i want a better quirk that's that's not good at all let's quickly reroll once again and see if we can get maybe a mythical one a legendary one i don't know Ooh, we got collector three and wait hold on before i end up changing it or checking its stats or whatever i think over here it says like the rarities of it uh where is it where is it wait did i miss it hello oh here it is 1.9 percent oh wow so that means it was a rare one hopefully that means it's going to be really good so let's just quickly over here select it and this champion increases your drops by 25 percent okay now is that only going to affect coins will it also affect the medals that i need in order to unlock these quirks i have absolutely zero clue so i guess i'm gonna have to come back later and you know obviously try and figure that out but yeah, apart from that, I think this is the perfect place to end off today's video. Now, obviously, in the terms of progression, I haven't really gotten anywhere. I mean, I got to the second world, which I guess was quite easy because I just had to defeat the boss on the green planet like two times in order to unlock it. But obviously, I didn't want to rush things at all. That makes the game boring if you rush. So yeah, I took my time and clearly there is a lot of stuff. I mean, there seems like there's four other areas that are blocked off. Now, how exactly do I unlock them? Uh, locked, bizarre, bizarre. Oh, wait, I think I get it now. I think in every single world, just like the one we were just in, the pirate town, there will be those, I guess, side things that you can repair, such as the magical tree. And I guess by upgrading those, I will be able to unlock these areas, which will end up giving me stuff that I... I have absolutely zero clue what are going to be but in the meantime i'm going to get prepared i'm going to try upgrading my team in preparation for the next video and obviously if you want to see that as soon as possible then the best way to show that is by showing your support on this video which you can do by liking subscribing commenting down below especially let me know if there are some things i missed maybe some secrets which are really good or any mistakes i made such as you know that thing of the radius that i talked about before i'm sure there will be more opportunities to get gems so in the meantime it's you know we learn from our mistakes but yeah apart from that that's gonna be it from me i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you all in the next one peace out everybody